Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to download and install the free digital audio workstation Cakewalk by BandLab onto your computer. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have an Internet Explorer open and then open up to Google and you just want to search Cakewalk by BandLab. And I chose Cakewalk uh, mainly because it is completely free to use. Uh, you can just start a free account and it includes many of the features that we want to use in our composing. I also like Cakewalk because it has a really nice piano roll. So go ahead and click on the first link you see there, Cakewalk by BandLab. And then uh, you should bring you to this page and there should be a download uh, button near the top of the page here. It might be a little different by the time you look at this, but uh, look for the download button and then you can click on that. And then it's going to bring you to this uh, page here. Just scroll down on the page and I'm just going to click on download. So when you click on download. It went ahead and should have downloaded it to your computer. And then uh, you can go ahead and find uh, the file on your computer. You can just uh, click on show and folder or find it in your download tab. And then when you see it there, uh, it's a uh, BandLab Assistant. So you're actually installing the BandLab Assistant. And then from there, you'll be able to download uh, different uh, products from uh, BandLab, one of them being Cakewalk. So go ahead and double click on BandLab Assistant and then it's going to walk you through the setup. So once it installed on your computer, you are now working with the uh, BandLab Assistant and you're going to want to log into your account. If you do not have an account, there should be a button here that uh, asks you to sign up. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and click on sign up. It will ask you for your name and then your email and a password. So you can go ahead and fill that out. So once you click on sign up, then it will bring you to this page. It says let's set up your profile and uh, you can add a picture if you would like. Uh, and then you can change your username. And so I'm going to go ahead and change uh, my username to a different uh, username there. Okay, so once you've created your account and your username, you'll want to come back to the BandLab Assistant that we downloaded and then just click on Login. And then you can use the username and password that you just set up. Your computer might ask you to give access to BandLab Assistant. You go ahead and say Allow Access. And so now that your account has been authenticated and you've signed into the BandLab Assistant, now you're going to want to go up to, so you have Library, Sounds, Mastering, and then Apps. So you actually want to click on Apps, and then you'll see there's a Cakewalk by BandLab, and there should be a button there uh, for Install. Uh, you can learn more if you want, but uh, mainly you just want to push the button for Install. And so now it's going to ask you uh, what you'd like to install on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and install the Studio and Instruments Suite, the Drum Replacer, Melodyne is good, that's uh, for vocals, and then Theme Editor. So I'm going to go ahead and click on all of those and then click on Install. So you'll be able to see your status uh, in the BandLab Assistant there or in a Cakewalk. There'll be a downloading and right now it's saying 105. So once it's finished, I'll uh, show you how to get started with the software. Okay, so once it is finished installing, uh, your computer may have asked you to uh, allow it access again. You want to uh, press OK there. And now it's going to click through, the, you're going to want to go through the setup. So you can select the language uh, that you would like to have the software displayed in. Press OK. And then they have the a license agreement here. Once you have taken a look at that and you feel comfortable with it, you can accept the agreement and press Next. And then uh, for this install installation, you're going to want to do the basic. Uh, don't worry about the advanced just yet. We can do that later if we need to. And then the VST folder is where you put in the like the sounds. And right now, the, the folder that it creates is most likely where you're going to want it. So go ahead and leave that there and then press Next. And then it's going to just show you the different elements that are going to be installed. And once you feel good with that, you can just press Install. And then uh, it's going to install it on your computer. And again, once this is finished, I'll see you in the next screen. So it might have taken a while, but once it is installed on your computer, you can then uh, click on the Finish button here. Um, I'm going to unclick the View Current Release Notes and then just click Finish. So once you set up the first part, it's going to ask you to set up the Studio Instruments Suite. You can just allow access and then it will go ahead and install that as well. And then it will also ask you uh, to set up the uh, Cakewalk Drum Replacer. And lastly, it'll be the Melodyne Extractor. So when you're in the, if you if you decide to do the Melodyne, uh, it's just going to walk through the install, install Shield Wizard here. You can just press Next. Same thing, uh, accept the license agreement once you get it, take a look at it, and then you can install it on your computer. Okay, so once all the elements of Cakewalk have been installed on your computer, then you can uh, you'll see this button here. Uh, it'll be it'll change to instead of install, it should say open. Uh, you can also do the drop down, but yeah, now you can just press open and then it will open on your computer and it's going to bring you through this get started menu. And again, uh, you'll want to uh, input whatever you have for your input for your microphone. You can select that. Um, the default is fine unless you have another setup and then you just press next and then uh, you can just keep it at basic. I, I, you can either press analytics to improve Cakewalk or not. I'm not going to click that. And then when you're finished, just press done. And so now it's going to ask you how to get started. 
You now know how to download and install Cakewalk by BandLab onto your computer. If you have any questions, you can feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other music software tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.